I would recommend oftentimes if you're going to construct a budget that you would take the prior period's income statement looking something like this, export it to Excel and then modify it based on what you think is going to happen into the future and then create your budget from from that modified uh, report. And it's like, well, why would I put it back into QuickBooks then when I just already have it in Excel at that point in time? Well, that's because you can run the budget versus actual report, which can be which can give you useful data as time passes. So that's going to be this one. I can right click the budget versus actual and open that one up. And so there we have it closing up the ham boogie. And so now we've got this information by date and let's change the range up top. So so because we only have the last few months that have actual data in it. So let's change this from 1101.22 to 1231.22 and run it, run in. And so now we've got the actual data for November and then the budget da budgeted data. And then you've got the uh, over budget information here. So if I pull out the trusty calculator, trusty calculator, and uh, we check this out, we're gonna say, okay, obviously the difference is this minus that is the 25 difference and this amount here is the percent of the budget so if i took the 975 divided by 1000 so we we actually were at 97.5 percent of the budget and so you got that for december and you've got that on uh the total on the right hand side so this kind of comparative report is you know the added level of detail clearly you would only have the actual data as time passes, because when you first make the budget, it's gonna be projection out into the future. Then time passes, we compare what actually happens to what we thought should happen. And then we're gonna obviously make our decision and change our decisions based on that. We're always trying to set a target so that we can shoot for the target and then make modifications to improve. So note you have these two options up top as well. So you've, you've got the drop down. notice it says the over budget. So if I took the actual and this was the budget. So now it's saying over budget and we were actually under budget. That's why it comes out to a negative. So if you want it, you could, you can imagine it the other way. So you could say, okay, what if I wanted to put it the, the remaining and then the percent of uh, remaining. So now you've got the actual, the budget. And if I want to see it in terms of the over budget, it would be negative 25, or I can see it in terms of the remaining which would be, you know, the 25. And then you could take the, this line item is the percent of the remaining amount, which is gonna be the 25 divided by the, uh, the budget of 1000. And that's gonna give us, if I move the decimal two places over that 2.5. So that's, some of that's kind of a matter of preference in terms of whether you're probably not gonna choose mo both of those options. Maybe you're gonna choose, you know, these two down below. And so now you've got the actual, the budget and uh, let's run it. And so now you've got the actual, the budget and the remaining, and then the percent of the remaining versus these two up top. And then I uncheck those two. And that one is gonna give you the actual, the budget and then the over budget and then the percent of the budget. So that's probably kind of more of a matter of preference in terms of which way you kind of want to see those budgeting options. But that's the general idea. The basic overview is that uh, the budget, you want to remember, isn't something that, that you, you can expect like a, a client just saying, well, now you just need to create a budget. That's not really what the, the, the bookkeeper would do or the accounting department does in and of themselves because they only have the past data. They're gonna need the added information. If it's your own company file, you have that added information, which is your idea or knowledge about what changes you're gonna make. If you're not the owner of the business and you're doing bookkeeping or working in the company, then you gotta to talk to other people such as the marketing department and management and whatnot and economists or whatever to think about what's gonna happen into the future. And then you can pool together the knowledge of the accounting department, which is gonna help you to just format the budget and then uh, people that are going to make changes to try to improve performance so that you can make projections out into the future when you do so you probably want to start off with the past data export it to excel i would think make modifications on it 
then import it back into the system so that you can run budget versus actual reports which help you to modify your behavior with regards to your business in the future.